NBA DFS show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, FA Nation? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome into the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Live show for Friday's 11 game main slate. James, this is our final live stream of the NBA season. We will be continuing with our recorded pre-show there throughout the first round of the playoffs. So you'll still see James and I and our faces here on the Fantasy Alarm YouTube channel talking some NBA basketball. Uh, but with this being the final regular season game during the week, uh, this is our last, last live show. We have 11 games. The injury news uh, is what we would have expected for end-of-season NBA here. The majority of big-name players are out or questionable on their way to being out for tonight's slate here. No games on Saturday, final day of the season on Sunday, so it leaves a lot of uncertainty uh, for this. But a ton of teams are on the slate, which means there are a ton of random players that are going to be starting, getting big minutes, and trying to navigate the waters today has been your guy, James Grande, who is on the playbook. Sir James, how are we doing? We're doing. Um, that's all I really got for you. There's <laughs> still plenty of things that could happen in terms of like playoff scenarios. Um, there are scenarios like Cleveland could end up the two seed. They could also end up the uh, seven seed. Um, the Orlando Magic could end as the three seed, also can end as the eight seed, depending on some scenarios. Um, so there's still a lot of things to sort out, uh, especially in the Eastern Conference. Western Conference, um, the only team that could move out of the play-in is Phoenix, as of New Orleans winning last night. Um, there's so like there's still some things, obviously, like Golden State wants to stay ahead of uh, the Lakers. Mm -hmm. The Lakers have LeBron questionable. We'll see how they handle that. Um, Phoenix, New Orleans, nor I mean, they're not on the main slate, but that they still matter. Dallas, right. as I mentioned last night, um, Luca showed up at shoot around. Not surprised after New Orleans beat the Kings for the fifth time. Uh, we only said four yesterday, but we <laughs> forgot the, we forgot the play in game. Right. Uh, they also, beat that ass in the play in game too. So perfect five and zero for the Pelicans against the Kings. Um, and the East, obviously everything is on the table. Some fake questionable tags, in my opinion, like Joel Embiid's a fake questionable tonight. They're going to use it They're Again, they can move up to the five seed, yeah. uh, especially playing Orlando tonight. I mean, that's a, a big, big game. Um, Indiana, Cleveland is probably one of the, most if not the most important game of, of tonight's slate in terms of um movement I mean, it's probably orlando philly indiana cleveland are probably the two most important games of yeah. the slate, um in terms of playoff context but uh, there's a there's just um it's a lot it's a lot today and shout out to you chris uh thank you for your support and shout out to everyone that has tuned in on the good days, the bad days, the great days, the ugly days, the short streams, the long streams. Um, it's been a it's been a grind, as you guys have noticed. John and I did this every day this year. Um, no third no third member of the 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 uh, live and podcast team uh, after Sean Mitchell left the squad. He made what one appearance in the in the live street. So yeah, we, had, we had Terrell for like two. Terrell for a couple of streets. Well, so salute to Vegas. You know. Yeah, salute to them as well for the couple of days of of uh, filling in um, for you and I uh, a couple of days. But uh, salute to you too, John. Because this uh, yeah. obviously the grind uh, is a lot, and eighty two games is a lot. And obviously we don't record on the weekends, but technically we do record on Sunday nights. So sure. like six days of recording weekly so um salute to you it's been a lot of fun it's been tough but uh salute to everyone I was gonna say, we, we, we do it for them so you know it's not really uh you know we, we don't you know we thank you guys for tuning in here but uh you know definitely what we're here for is the support that you guys bring to us uh and we'll continue to uh again carry the pre-show out through the first round of the playoffs so cheers to all of you guys for tuning Chugging in this vodka, this is straight vodka. Yeah, yeah 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 
Uh, if you do want to give us one last round of support, though, hit the like button. Hit that thumbs up. It's a free way to support what we do here at the Fantasy Learn YouTube channel. So helps us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So we appreciate you all uh, supporting us in that manner all season long. Uh, let's just get into it because there's obviously a lot to discuss here. Um, and we will go through each position as we do every show, but we'll start things off uh, taking a look at the uh, spreads and totals for today's 11 game main slate. So many games, so many questions. Orlando Philly, Philly giving seven and a half to 13 and a half total. Chicago, Washington, Washington giving two, 223 total. Charlotte, Boston, Boston giving seven, 218 and a half. Pacers, Cleveland, Cleveland giving three. 232 total there. Brooklyn, New York, New York giving 11 and a half to 11 and a half total. Toronto, Miami, Miami giving 15 to 18 and a half. Lakers, Memphis, Memphis getting 15 and a half to 25 and a half. Hawks, Timberwolves, Timberwolves giving 13 to 26 and a half. Milwaukee, OKC, the Thunder giving 14 to 23 and a half. Denver, San Antonio, San Antonio getting 11 to 25 and a half there. Sorry. 222 and a half in that game. Detroit, Dallas, and Dallas giving 13 and a half to 18 total. Those are the games on the main slate. There are three games after 10 p.m. Not on the main slate. You can go ahead and play the late slate if you guys want. If you have any questions about the late slate, you can get us in the Discord. But James, let's uh let's just get to it. We're talking point guards here. What are we doing at the top of the position today? So if Luca plays. We already know Kyrie's out. Um, I expect him to be full capacity. They're the 8.30 game as the late night hammer. So we may not know if he's going to play. Obviously, good signs that he was at shoot-around. Doesn't always mean they play. We've seen this a lot in the second half of the year. Shoot-around doesn't equal automatically in. But uh, Dallas can technically move to the 4C. Or um, is it the 4? No, they... Yes, so they can move to the four. They can also move to the six. So one win puts Dallas firmly into at least the five. So I expect after New Orleans won last night, Luka plays. That was the expectation we had on the show last night. That is th still my expectation, especially after seeing what they're shooting around. So I'm perfectly fine getting to Luka. Um, OKC obviously has a interesting task at hand because they're one game behind Denver Denver in a really good spot to possibly clinch tonight um the one seed or at least just make it really difficult for New Orleans or for OKC or Minnesota to catch them with a the matchup against the Spurs but OKC can still win out and get the one seed if Dal if Denver slips and Minnesota slips so still a lot to play for for OKC and SGA so I tend to perfectly fine. Um, the Knicks have labeled Jalen Brunson probable tonight, and I do think, you know, he's going to play max minutes. The scenario for the Knicks is they can finish the two seed or and as high as the two, and they can finish as low as the five. So still things to play for, as you heard from Joe Mazzula. They are des very, very desperate, uh, as he quoted it uh, last night. So I'm good with getting any of the top three. I don't want to get to DeJounte or Trey unless we heard Trey is off any type sure. of minutes restriction. Um, Tyrese Halliburton is interesting because they need him to play as many minutes as possible. Just they need to stay out of the playing tournament, right? You just don't want to be into the in the playing tournament. Um, a loss would be devastating for them at this point. So uh, I think Halliburton is going to play max minutes. Really tough spot, but at least we can guarantee ourselves a lot of minutes from Halliburton. Yeah. And same thing can be said about Donovan Mitchell here at 9K. Like Cleveland, again, they are in one of the weirdest predicaments of all teams. They can be the two seed. They can be the seven seed. So like you go from hosting all but one Eastern Conference playoff series or the play-in tournament, right? Yeah. If they lose out. So um, we're going to get... We talked about it before the Memphis game. Like, if there was ever a get-right spot for Donovan Mitchell, it was Memphis. He got right. Look for him to carry it into um, Indiana. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really good in the postseason, uh, especially you know when you think about think back to his days in the in the bubble. 
when Utah was um, yeah. Utah the Utah Denver series. I remember. I said, where, Utah, we had Jamal Murray, Donovan Mitchell trade in you know sixty point games basically. Yeah, so. that, was, that was the best shot making I like ever watched for like consecutive games. So um, Halliburton, Mitchell, I, I think mostly the nine K and above tiers in play outside of the Atlanta guys. All right. Uh, quickly, Maxi down here in the mid tier. Uh, Cam Thomas is seventy nine. D'Angelo Russell potentially, if there is no LeBron James, we've discussed. Um, other thoughts on the eight in seven K range? Um, I don't have many other thoughts. Uh, Cam Thomas is a little bit interesting with Dennis Schroeder being downgraded, some Brooklyn guys being downgraded yeah. um, in general. So Cam Thomas should play a bunch of minutes. They don't really have the depth at guard. Um, you mentioned Russell we could throw Reeves into that same bucket if guys are out. Uh, Tyler Hero, seventy one hundred is definitely in play, especially if Rozier were to sit. Um, John, good indication for the Boston stuff. I mess- messaged you earlier and said um, Missoula is the biggest troll in the NBA. Um, when you look at their injury report today, I know they listed everyone questionable, but when you look at things more deeply, J.D. Davidson, probable. Drew Peterson. Probable. Yeah. Nemus Queda, probable. Jordan Walsh, probable. Those are four guys from the G League. So writing's on the wall there uh, that nobody for Boston's going to play. Again, they're listed questionable. Maybe somebody plays. Maybe Derek White plays. Maybe Jason Tatum plays because Jason Tatum can't. Not a single one like, of them should play a single minute of any game. I do Boston. not disagree at all. But Joe Mazzulla enjoyed watching his team get their ass kicked last. Yeah, well, he no. just watched Giannis get hurt and likely miss a round of the playoffs. So hopefully, he's learning that now. Milwaukee needed Giannis to play in that game. Correct. They don't need Jason Tatum pulling a calf here. You know, like, just just saying. Um, so I think the writing's on the wall. None of them play. Um, just throwing it out there because we're going to get to a couple of Boston guys here. But I think one of the more interesting dilemmas tonight is Kobe White because. And Mark pointed to it earlier. And Mark is hilarious. Like, we're showing up. We showed up, like, three times all year. And one of the days is the second to last slate of the year where there's First of all, Mark, Mark is always lurking. Okay. Commenting. Yeah. Commenting. Sorry. Sure, Com- sure. Comment. His his third NBA comment of the year is about the Bulls having five bodies on the second <laughs> to last slate of the year. Um, So the Bulls clinched the nine seed. They, I am just like a little, why is Kobe White not on the, DeRozan doubtful, Vucevic doubtful, Caruso hit the 65 game threshold, so he's now eligible for awards, questionable, he's not going to play. Defensive Um, player of the year? Yeah, I mean, he's, for for all all defense, all defense teams. Yeah. Um, Io's out, Drummond's out, right? Julian Phillips, and we know the, like, why is Kobe White not on the injury report? I don't know if you saw the quote. They said, they asked him after the game yesterday, they said, would you like to rest? Would you like like to get in a flow? Or would you, like, what's your opinion on the last two games? And he said, I just work here, bro. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't help anything because he's played 42, or 37, 42, 38 minutes. He's also the only member of this team, like a regular that's available. I mean, if everybody else is out and he is in, you have to assume he's going to play. Yeah, but like that, minute, but, play minutes. I mean, not just play, but like play minutes. I would assume. But ha- but play minutes. What is that? It could be play one half, and then if you play Kobe White, I don't one half. I, okay, so I don't see them starting him to play a half. If he, they would just like they would just rule him out. They have no reason to play him. Is this so. is this them putting him being like, hey, this is actually the most improved player in the NBA? That's we're let we're not we're ignoring what the award should be and giving Maybe. it to Tyrus Maxey despite Tyrus Maxey being like a oh, player that we all expected <laughs> to be like yeah. um yeah nobody you asked anybody ahead of the season you showed up Kobe White's like season sat line nobody would have guessed dude he broke the Bulls all all time three made three point shots in a season he yeah. is averaging 19 five and almost five a game yeah. And before this like struggle, he was shooting like nearly 40% from three. I mean, um, yeah, but I, we uh, all thought he was going to get released. And then they, then they signed him and we're like, Oh, okay. Kobe White. Like, and now he's your, and now he's your point guard for, uh, oh. but anyways, six and 900 for a Kobe White to himself team 
is yeah. lock and load against Washington. No, like that's like just plug and I like play it. and move on. The shots will be there. Ivy is there at sixty eight hundred dollars as well. And then you get down to the Memphis guys there with Pippen and Goodwin at 63 and 59, not to skip over Trey Jones intentionally, but those two guys, I think we'd probably consider playing over Trey right. Jones at $6,200. Um, and then you go down a little bit further. There's the Charlotte plays uh, Peyton Pritchard, who is a cover of this morning show. If everybody gets ruled out, Peyton Pritchard starting, like I legitimately said on the show this morning, there could be a 10 X upside play there with Peyton Pritchard knowing how we've seen him go off when he's been extended and given opportunities to be the guy on this team, you know, 10 X is obviously a ceiling, but he could go for 40 fantasy points tonight at $5,400. If everybody is out except for him. Um, so Pritchard's there at $5,400 and you have some value plays like a Patrick Beverly, who seemingly is playing by himself tonight. Right. So no, I've, Milwaukee rolled everyone in. Oh, did they? Okay. Yep. Everyone's playing. Um, Middleton available. Brooke Lopez available, Bobby Lillard Porter available. Out. Sorry, I meant I meant like Lillard and Giannis are out, right? No, yeah, Giannis. Lil, yeah, Lillard, Giannis are both out. Um, yeah, yeah. Like Port Portis and Middleton are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, and Brolo because they right after we recorded the show last night, they were like, "Oh, Chris Middleton downgraded. Yeah. Brooke Lopez downgraded." I was like, "Oh, this is so much fun." Um, yeah, I mean the Memphis guys once again are getting all the ownership. Jordan Goodwin back on the team, um, so he's. You know, been amazing overall. So has Scotty Pippen, and we know Scotty Pippen's ties to the Lakers. He used to be a member of the team, so both those guys are definitely in play. Uh, Pritchard for sure might be. You might, you might never see a guy fifty four hundred take more shots in your lifetime than Peyton <laughs> Pritchard might take tonight. So uh, for sure, Pritchard, Beverly. Um, I have interest in Marcus Sasser more than Jaden Ivy. I'd say we kind of saw Ivy's minutes capped last night in a blowout sasser's weren't also sasser 33 minutes 33 fantasy points last night at 4900 like if that game were to blow out i'm definitely more confident in sasser staying on the floor than i would be Jaden ivy um i just feel better about sasser hitting value before then versus ivy yeah. so um i lean sasser in that scenario there's the xavier simpson thing that is obviously an option at 4500 could he play 30 minutes again? Probably. Um, so there's that. Dante Exum was getting a ton of ownership this morning. He's still getting, uh, per the update we just got, uh, that we'll have to update over on site, he's still getting 19% or so, which I think is like... That decent. balloons once Luca gets... If Luca gets ruled out. Yeah, yeah. And, and that was much higher upon the first update before the Luca went through shoot around stuff. Yeah. Too. Like it was just like everyone assuming Luca not playing Kyrie, not playing. Um, but Exum Exum's there. Um, Jared Butler's value would be skyrocketed. If we get no Jordan pool, we're awaiting the Jordan pool status. He still is questionable. One of 77,000 players listed questionable tonight. So um, there's obviously like, what would the Bulls do if Caruso is ruled out? They could start Javon Carter. He's $3,000 here. Um, he played 21 minutes last night for Chicago. I don't think they would go that route. I think they would go like Delon Terry or Olnerat Bitsum, Bitram um, would probably be your like starting two, three combination. Yeah. And then you have like Javante Green not in the injury report and stuff. Um, but there's always the 3K Javon Carter. We know he randomly decides, like, I'm just going to pull up and transition, like, seven possessions in a row, and you can't yeah. stop. Yeah, we saw we saw with Milwaukee at times. You, like, come off their bench and all of a sudden start, like, scoring. You're like, what? where is where's this coming from? Yeah, uh, too many. Joel Embiid, Kyle Lowry, game time decisions. I just, I just refuse to believe they're going to sit Joel Embiid in this game. I just, I refuse to believe. Moving on over shooting guard? Yeah. All right. At top of shooting guard position, Anthony Edwards questionable. DeJounte Murray there. Irving, we know, is out. We talked Donnie Mitch. You get the Boston guys. You're really not finding a player you might use until the mid-7K and below tier. So uh, where are you looking to go tonight? Um. Yeah, I mean, we talked about Mitchell. Miller against the Boston second unit, I think, is a little bit interesting. I wish 33 minutes and 30, like 
I've literally the last two times I've played Brandon Miller were 33 minutes against Atlanta and 30 minutes against Portland. Like, please give me the 39 minute game against Orlando. Right. Like, please. Like, but 7,300 against the second unit in Boston. Uh, he should cook. Um, Tyler Hero, we mentioned. That's definitely a solid play. I don't have like much interest in many other guys. Thankfully, we can play Jordan Goodwin here Jordan at Shooting Pool Guard. Out, Rashawn Holmes out. I mean, Jared Butler's value skyrockets. He's four thousand dollars. He's one of the better values of the day. He is a really, really, really elite fantasy point per minute producer. So, also, we should maybe soon. They downgraded Denny. So, um, yeah. Did Denny still know Denny news there? I'm shocked that he didn't get. Did we get like, the uh, other Champagne here tonight? There could be, I mean, yes, who the heck knows what Washington's going to do. Um, he DMP'd last game, could play this game, you know. Mm-hmm. They they played a really short rotation last game. But no pool now, no Kuzma, possibly no Denny. So... Um, I would assume Champagne would kind of be forced into like they don't technically have a backup point guard. I guess Johnny Davis would be their backup point guard. Um, I uh, Sasha, I would say Jared Butler is the answer there. Um, I like Sasser. Jared Butler is better on a permanent basis without Jordan Poole. So uh, I would I am leaning Jared Butler there. He also gets a Bulls. Then he's still a game time decision. Man. He's dealing with an illness. So yeah, that's not great. Uh Yumiori in okay. your guy. Uh, yes. Um there are plenty of options here. Kispert shooting guard only, Champagne, 33, Davis. So you know Kispert could be a guy tonight. I mean, we've seen him take a bunch of shots before if Denny gets ruled out. He's going to take a bunch of shots, I think, regardless, right? No pool, no sure. Kuzma. So he's yeah. probably, him and Denny are probably top of the food chain if both of them play. Um, mm-hmm. And then Jer- and Butler. Your starting five is probably Butler, Kispert, Denny, Patrick Baldwin, and Vucevic. That's probably yeah. your starting five. And that's assuming Denny's in. And that's just, that's assuming, right. And then, then you're talking Johnny Davis or Jim Penny. Penny. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can also play the Goodwin, uh, Jordan Goodwin there as well. Yep. Again, we talked playing double Memphis before. We've done it plenty of times. Uh, Hauser's at 5,100. The last time he played Charlotte, he had seven threes in the first half, then got hurt. Um, well, it's, you know, well on his way to just setting records there. If he ends up starting tonight, we know he's got as much of a green light as anybody else that'll be on the floor, uh, for Boston there. Uh, he talked Sasser already. I, you know, Beasley could be something. Champ- the other Champagne is there at 48. Hundred dollars. He's been looking pretty good. Like, if uh, would you go THJ tonight? If ends up being no Luca, or does he end up just getting ruled out with the crew? I think there's probably just too much uncertainty. Eight thirty okay. game. We have like enough value to. I know he's a he's a really good fantasy point for minute guy. So if Luca does get ruled out early enough, then maybe it's a a play we go to. Uh, but they have gotten healthier, like Josh Green coming back. Uh, Exum now able to play max minutes. I don't know if they care to play uh, Hardaway like any more than they already do. Sure, that's fair. Uh, anybody else out here for value for you at shooting guard? I know again, there's plenty of potential options that we've discussed already with the point guard position. Yeah, I mean the Spurs ruled out uh, Malachi Branham mm-hmm. uh, likely for the remainder of the year. As Pop said, he's out today, likely out Sunday. So that give us your guy. There's three. Yeah, they have three options after champagne city sizoko who you know pat myself on the back i figured there would be extended run here just given the nature of that game no Wemby, such a likely blow scenario on the second leg of a back-to-back in okc um but it does open the door like he's playing well so it does open the door for him now no branham who's been playing 30 plus minutes a night no no kelvin no chetty like they're just shorthanded. So Suzuko is going to be in the rotation regardless. So is Blake Wesley. Um, I know we had some Blake Wesley talk last time we were on the show. He went one of 11 from the floor. Can't fault him for taking 11 shots. He played 25 minutes, one of 11. Oh, well, like good to see the 25, right. Good to see the 25 minutes. Good to see the 11 shots. 
Um, and then David Duke, uh, possibly the most unfortunate name in the NBA, probably the most unfortunate name in the NBA, definitely the most unfortunate name in the NBA. Um, played 18 minutes. Like, Branham's starting, right? So what do they do in that starting spot? There is – clearly it is Jones, Wemby, Mamu, Champagny, blank, right? That, so one of these guys probably starts, my guess – would be Wesley or Sizoko, but like Wesley's operated more as the the backup point guard. But now they have Devontae Graham, who's playing 20 minutes, who we didn't mention, but you know, we don't really need to. 16 combined fantasy points in those last two games. Uh, I would assume it's Sizoko or Wesley in the fifth starter spot. So those would be my two leans. But if you do think Denver just torches San Antonio, obviously Duke's gonna play somewhere around 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh let's move on over to the small forward position here. Um Again, guys at the top, we know are all questionable. If they're in, they're in. That's great. But you do have buckets here at eighty-four hundred dollars against Toronto. Miles Bridges against the Boston backups potentially at eighty-one. You got Siakam against Cleveland at eight K, and Middleton at seventy-nine hundred dollars there. Yeah, I mean, like the the Bucks thing is interesting. So they can't move lower than four. I don't know what that means to Doc Rivers though. Because they're still hosting at least one playoff series in that in that scenario where um, everyone's available. I assume that means we're getting max minutes or as many minutes as they can play, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. If they win this game, there's obviously a case to be made that Chris Milton has like some type of big scoring night or double double or triple double or yeah. some something like that. So like of the of the top small forwards, it's probably Middleton for me just given the usage and and fantasy point output he gets when both Lillard and Giannis are off the floor. Sure. I definitely don't uh don't hate that there. Uh I got Mr. Polo Cash popping in saying smash the like button. Appreciate you. Uh Mr. Polo Cash supporting us all season long. There it is for the Celtics. No Derek White, no Drew Holiday, no Al Horford. <gasps> Stunned face. Should <laughs> these are coming quick here? Um, I mean, they had they a big they... Adam Brown all out. Yeah, we knew that. So the you whole cannot coming... tell me you cannot tell me that Underdog did not have those uh, ready to go scheduled. Those, Caruso those are... out. Daron Sharp out. Cam Johnson out. Schroeder out. You cannot Marvel tell me Rose that all out. You cannot tell me that all these were not. Uh, there's there's, there's all, just no way. My phone is blown up. Rapid fire notifications, everybody. Dude, he uh, did that as, in forty. They did that in forty three seconds. There's just there's just no way. They were all scheduled. They were scheduled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like really. They were all scheduled, right? dude. Like, there's just yeah. no way. Yeah. Uh, so everybody we assumed was out is out. There you go. Uh, new Celtics starting five should be uh, should be a thing uh, momentarily here, but as we expected. Uh, what do you think? We got Pritchard, Hauser, Hauser. Cornette, Tillman. Slash Dude, they could create it up. They could have Cornette, both. Tillman both start. And then you're either going Svi or Brissett. Yeah, probably. Do they give I, this? I, do they give their first round pick a, a start? Or, or or a Walsh. My, dude, I've kind of been thinking about this today. With the once I saw the initial injury part with Boston being listed probable, all the G leaguers. When I say first round pick, I meant second round pick. He was there. He was their first pick. First pick of the yes. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about the scenario today after seeing that initial report with everyone probable. Like I know Pritchard and Hauser's value isn't as strong as obviously their top six, but like that's their top eight in a playoff series, right? Sure. Where the six plus Pritchard and Hauser. Is there a scenario where they are also like kind of limited? Uh, I don't know. It'd be very difficult to project that. I, I know, but like if you don't see Pritchard Hauser start, there's just no way you can oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. play them. No, 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 for sure. If they're not starting, I'm not playing them at all, right? Because they may not even may not may like, not play, right? You'll just get play, yeah. you'll get the G League championship team on the floor, basically, right? Like which, you know, it, in. Is Charlotte even a uh, Charlotte much better than 
you know, a G League team at this point. Who knows? Um, all right. That, we'll get the starting lineup for you all when it comes out here. Um, talk Middleton. Uh, what else we got down here? Any? Would you play uh, GG at 68? If he's going to play minutes like he did the other day. Oh, did you hear me, Franz, in? I did see the Franz in, yeah. Franz, obviously a great price. He's just been underwhelming. Yes, he has. I think it more hurts hurts uh, Paolo more than it sure. helps Franz. Uh, again, I like Hachimura if someone ends up being ruled out there. I guess it, if Embiid was to be ruled out, uh, Ubre would be interesting at 67. Yep, and we'd probably circle back on, on Maxi. Maxi. And Maxi. Yeah, yeah, Maxi as well. Uh, LaRavia broke the slate 5,300 the other day. Yeah, he's the highest roster, highest roster projected player. At small forward tonight. You think that changes when, with the official outing of uh, all those Celtics guys? Do you think they eat probably? Probably because like if you, there was ever a slate where you could just like stars and scrub, be like, well, I can now just play Luca plus whoever I want because right. I can just play Boston starting five, right? So yeah, because um, in the late in the latest update, uh, well, I. So the latest update had all of Boston Memphis. at less than 1%. Uh, but it also included like Pritchard at 0.1% and Hauser at 0.1%. I'm assuming they were kind of just waiting because they did have yeah. projections for them, um, for them to actually be ruled out because their projected minutes were 33 and, and whatnot. So with those guys out, I have to assume there'll be some ownership now going. Uh, Bulls available players tonight. We got that list coming out right here. We have... Uh, Kobe White, Dale and Terry, Javante Green, who we'll talk about in a moment, Tori Craig, Adam Sinogo, Javon Carter, your guy Bidum, uh, Funk, and Henry Dr It's actually, uh, I will, it's Adama Sinogo. Okay. Just throwing it out there. I know, uh, You're a Underdog, fan, not me, so. Underdog, Underdog does have a, uh, does have a spelling error there. It's there you go. A, a, like an Adama. Almost like Enema. Either way, we're playing Javante Green tonight. What? The, yeah, I mean he's he's the second best bull player tonight, third best. Well, if you if you're concerned about Kobe White, even though we just said they have seven humans as Mark, I'm not. I'm less. Player. I'm less concerned seeing him listed active. Okay. If he's in the starting lineup, I'm fine with it. Okay. I, I, he's 6900 against Washington. Like all systems. Yeah. But Javante Green's like almost. I mean, the way he's been playing with the starters. You got to put him in as almost a core play today. He he might be he he's like when you think about the Bulls' health, he's playing himself into like a play-in <laughs> tournament be a rotation. Contract next year? Yeah. Well, he's playing himself for sure into a like into a rotation spot somewhere or a team somewhere. But like he was never bad enough to not be on an NBA roster. This no, no, year. he he's good I, for I the Bulls. He was yeah. good previously. Like, that's what I want. What I'm saying. I don't understand why. He, I mean, there's a lot of guys in the league that like just float around, like just don't play, but. Rodney Green has always been a pretty good, like, eighth, ninth, tenth man. Like, I don't know. Agreed. There's some scrubs in the NBA. Rodney Green is better than, and he's, he's up there. So, um, what else are we doing for value here? I mean, <laughs> it's a freaking nightmare. Um, so, you can play Suzoko here, obviously. Duke is here, obviously. Um, Svi, Mihai Luke, Jaden Springer, Jordan Walsh. All three Steve, of those guys. He might make the most sense as a starter tonight. He was uh so initial update, which I actually have right now, because I haven't updated on site yet. This we have the set we have the one that we were sent, I can see. Svi so was 16% rostered first update this morning. 16% Svi Mahailu. Before yeah, like people were just plugging Svi. So um We'll see. Like, fortunately for us, there's two games. There's only two games starting before Boston, right? So we'll know nice and early. We should. I feel like uh, Missoula usually releases his his starting lineup pretty early. Um, so that's they just ruled everybody out. I have to imagine the starting lineup is coming shortly thereafter, right? Yes, I I would I would hope so. <laughs> hope so. We would hope so. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. I would like some clarity to know what we're doing. Yeah. Um. So all the Boston guys, Suzoko, TBD on Washington, 
as well, um, which is great. We'll know because they're the first game of the slate. If Denny's in, we didn't mention Denny. He's obviously in play. If he's not, Champagne, if he starts, I'm not starting. I'm not playing Johnny Davis, even if there's a fire. Even if I was told Johnny Davis was playing 48 minutes tonight, John, I would not play Johnny Davis. How about that? Um, but there's a chance he's, he does start. Uh, but yeah, that's, um, that's trying to see if I can get any indications here, uh, from some Celtics beat writers that are all kind of just tweeting out now, but they're more so just tweeting out who is active though. Um, Bobby Manning said the Celtics, uh, entire top six rotations out and then listing their active players, listing their active players could also be their actual starting lineup. Pritchard, Hauser, Brissett, Tillman, Cornette. We just got first... it. What? We just got the roster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The underdog did. I'm saying that the beat writer listed out, uh, in, I think the order to which these players were listed uh... could be an indication potentially of the starting lineup, which is Pritchard, Hauser, Brissett, Tillman, and Cornette. We've seen them do Tillman, Cornette before. Uh, we assume Hauser and Pritchard start anyways. We're kind of figuring who would be the, the small forward. O'Shea Brissett would make sense as, as a starting small forward in that group. And then your, your backup big is Quaida tonight. Your backup power forward is Peterson or Walsh. And you have your guards in Springer and Mihailuk, So, um, and Davidson. So that, that, we'll, we'll, we'll see. The only difference between the way that uh, underdog listed it and how you described it was instead of double big, they have Springer after Pritchard. Sure. Which I don't know if that's what the, everyone, Everyone just spam your opinions on what Boston's starting lineup is, and uh, you'll get a thumbs up from us if you get it correct. Yeah, uh, we'll see. I don't, have, I don't have anything else to offer. All right. Uh, was, there, was there any other small forwards you wanted? Uh, just Daylon Terry, another Chicago name. Um, Henry Henry Drell is one of eight guys, right, active for the Bulls. So that would be, like, the only other names that I would throw out there. <laughs> this headline is is Brent Williams expecting a video tribute for him at the TD Garden tonight? He thinks he is. <laughs> it was that in the Shams interview? I saw he did the Shams interview. I didn't possibly. See. Possibly. Um, all right. Power forward position up at the top. Again, a lot of guys questionable out already. Um, if any of these big name guys are in, I imagine you're in on them here, James. Um, yes. Okay. You less in on Ben Care now that Franz Wagner's uh, Franz Wagner's Correct. in. Okay? Correct. Uh, we talked Bridges already, Siakam. You go down to Mobley. Towns is active tonight. I don't know how you feel about him being active. Jalen Williams, Bobby Poe at 6,900. I mean, the Towns thing would be interesting. I assume there's a limit. I also, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Ann Edwards. He was downgraded midday with an illness, right? And we know Anthony Edwards plays through everything, right? Like he is mm -hmm. a crazy person playing through injuries, sicknesses, whatever. But if, Edwards were to sit and Towns was like, they were just like, nah, no limit. He's good. He's been, he's fine. Then um, I would be fine getting to Carlin Towns. He's only missed, I mean, he's missed a month. So I assume he's going to, it's going to be like mid 20s minutes. Sure. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's fine. It's Bobby yeah. Portis. Though. We're just, this is all this to get to Bobby Portis at 6,900. Yeah. Uh, I would agree with you. I mean, we talk about this every time. Whenever there's no Giannis, he goes and goes for like 50 plus fantasy points. Now there's no Lillard, Giannis, Brook Lopez. He, if he doesn't, he's got to start, right? Has to start. Yeah. We, we assume he has to start here tonight. Uh, and from what it looks like, we're just not playing Bobby Portis again. Is could this be right? Why don't people play this guy? I don't know. I'm skeptical if there's not ownership on him. I don't see ownership on Bobby Portis. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, he was low rostered this morning, and I was going to message you, but then 77 different things happened at once, so I didn't. Mm. Uh, I don't see ownership on Portis. So if we get Bobby Portis starting, then I'm all in on Bobby. Well, what if he doesn't start? Would you Would you not? I mean, he's been coming off the bench and destroying, so. Except he did start randomly last game, right? Against sure. Orlando. Yeah. So I'm not saying I would be out, but we just saw like, hey, 14 of 18 in the starting lineup. I'd be, he was randomly, 
popped up in the injury report and then randomly available during the day, like that would be road uh, red flags would be popping up in my brain if he wasn't starting. Okay, uh, where else are we going in the mid tier here? Not um, okay. Matt two fifty four Laravia the aforementioned Laravia Mamu if at forty nine. The, the aforementioned Javante Green's in play. Sure. Um, Trent Watford, 44, should be in line for minutes with Brooklyn being shorthanded. Clowney? Um, Clowney is as good as it gets, in my opinion, at 4,200. I know it's a tough spot uh, against the Knicks, but um, 35 and 39 minutes in the last two games. He's had two four-block games in his last three He's had six plus rebounds in four straight. He scored double figure points in three of four. He can space the floor a little bit too. Uh, this was a first round pick this year. Like he was drafted in the first round and and like obviously a developmental player, but the development is here. Uh, he yeah. has been quite good down the year. So no clowny. He's getting a lot of ownership as he should be. Uh, he's definitely one of the better values at 4,200. Uh, Patrick Baldwin, 3,900. He's going to start. We've seen games where I can't even say state of foul trouble because he's been in foul trouble, but games where he's able to play into the thirties in terms of minutes. He is a very productive fantasy player yeah. and now gets the bulls shorthanded second leg of a back-to-back uh, against him. Not, not a lot of size on Chicago. Yeah, either. I, mean, I mean, so can space the floor. I mean, 15, three pointers in, in the last two games. So I, I'd be really interested in, in Baldwin as well. I mean, this is such a stars and scrub slate. It's crazy. And you may not even have enough stars to play. Yeah. And then Boston again, <laughs> oh, Brissett, 3K. Yeah, right. right. If Luka doesn't play, like Jokic, on the, I know Jokic is probably always going to play because they're yeah. going to lock up the one seed. But um, then you have Brissett, 3K um, as well. Yeah. Um, all right. Going to center. Best position of the day, by the way, center. Hardest, yeah. hardest decisions to make, though, because there is total max price plays that you want to play and 3K men that I think is the best play of the slate. Sure. We've already had, like, five comments about them, so. I know. Uh, Joker, Wemby, Embiid. Pick one. Okay. Obviously, this may be a, this is going to be a contrarian take, but if you guys watched the preview show, you guys saw that we picked Joel Embiid. Or I don't know if you were on the same as enthused with Embiid over like Wemby Jokic as I was, but I, as soon as we saw Joel Embiid play 36 minutes last game, take nine, three, 22 shots, nine threes, 10 free throws, two assists shy of a triple double, 10 blocks and steals. Hey, guess what? That was Joel Embiid for the first three months of the year, every day, every night. So he's the third highest priced center in this scenario. He has the toughest matchup, but guess what? Like he is in, this is projected to be one of the best games of the night overall. Joel Embiid needs games like this for his legacy in general, like needs to play good in the playoffs, needs to get his team out of the play in tournament. Everything is flowing through a Joel Embiid tonight. If he's playing, he's playing max minutes. It's Embiid for me. Um, and and again, I, I think that's contrarian. But he's $1,300 cheaper than Jokic. He has as much upside, if not more, because he was, again, the best player in the NBA pre-injury. And then Wemby, like, Wemby's great. If you want to play Wemby, play Wemby. There's infinite, there's quadruple double upside with Victor Wembanyam, Right. Yep. There is. There's just there is just flat out quadruple I mean, double upside. Back to back seven block games, a nine block game, a six, a seven. When have we we've seen he had the 10 block game already? Like we've seen one or two instances. Like Brooke Lopez has had like a seven block game. And we it doesn't happen as consistently as Victor Wembayama is giving us these these Same. block numbers here. So it's pretty ridiculous. Well, it's just dude, he just it doesn't like the way that his arms like he doesn't even look like he's in plays and then he's blocking shots. Yeah, you saw his dunk the other day, right? Where he just like casually went from like one side of the paint <laughs> to the other, scooped underneath and, and dunked it with the left. Dude, he like, did the sham god the other day. Did you see him do the sham god too? Yeah. Where I'm like, dude, what in the 
Uh, I saw uh, JJ Reddick's podcast had him and Go- uh, had Gobert on today, and the thought of him and Gobert on the French national team today, where they don't have three second rule in international play, yeah, the they're like, "What is anyone going to do against you guys?" And Gobert yeah. just laughed. He's like, "That's not for us to, to worry right. about." Like, but um, jokes aside, I I do. I'm going to be contrarian tonight, and I'm going to say, and we've said all year, like, if Joel Embiid is low-owned, I don't care if he's playing against five Victor Wembanyamas. Personally, I don't. I would play Joel Embiid because he's the best player on the planet when fully healthy. Um, at least that's what he's been this pre, uh, pre-injury. pre So sure. uh, the answers went, uh, I, I know that was long, but I think it's worth the discussion. Uh, Embiid's number one. Sure. Uh, all right. Where are you going uh, when it comes to the mid-tier center position? Uh, I think Ibrahim's uh, starting five for the Boston was the best we had. Chip used napkin, paperclip, penny, and SpongeBob. Um, yeah. I think SpongeBob would probably be at the five in that scenario. Uh, he's when probably... he says chip, are we talking about like from the Beauty and the Beast or like a chip? I, ooh. I, I assume he. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and assume like Ibrahim's age, but I'm going to go with like Dorito or he like. He used SpongeBob. That's fair. Yeah, but like SpongeBob's still going on. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe we have to get clarity here. Um, and Nick, we Luca is questionable. Uh, he did go through shoot around. Dallas can still. There's still a chance that um, they can get the four seed. So, um, I guess reading here, John, I'm looking at something. They cannot move actually down. They can. They can move to four. They can move ahead of the Clippers. They cannot go to the six seed. Okay. Uh, just for just for um, some context there. Just go everything else. Honestly, if anyone wants to play any of these mid tier plays, it's all fluff. Just go to Sonogo because that's the next. That's that's the play. He's three thousand dollars. That's I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Hold on. He was 20, 21 and twelve at the G League this year. Um, twenty one and 12, 30 minutes a game at the G League. And I was going to Dude, we love our G. Dude, we love our G League All Stars. Here's one. This is your plug and play of the day. And so that's why, he, like, is he our, he's our util today. That's the only. That's the only problem with like playing in bead. I'd say where you're just plugging two seven. But the thing is that we're gonna have so much money left over because we're not. There isn't like other spend ups to play today. Like he's. The first person I'm playing in my lineup. Okay. He is number one with a bullet. I don't I I almost don't care about the rest of the center because I like the spend up so much and I like him at 3K. If anyone has any other players that they want to throw out there, I'll tell you like would you rather play him or Cornette or or uh Tillman? We don't know who's gonna play or Queda. Like we don't know who's actually gonna be the center, right? Like yeah. I'm just trying to see what we can even do here. I'm still going to go purchase assuming he's playing. Um, I mean, you probably can you can get Luca double Luca and bead. You can get in your lineup. Shooting guard is easily. I mean, you could easily. I mean, you play any of the Spurs. You play any of the Bulls. You play any of uh, Jared. But uh, is there a way we can get Jared? But uh, shoot, no, nah, you can't. He's point guard only. Is uh Pritchard point guard only? Yes. Yeah, he is. I did I did uh Baldwin. If you didn't do Luca, you maybe you go A D and then play um I did play Baldwin. And we still have like so much money left on the board. Yeah, maybe three hundred dollars. Well move off Suzoko and then play uh, you want um Butler. Butler. Jared Butler. Yeah, and then we can probably move off um Suzoko. Brandon Miller against the backs of the boss in there. Yeah, Hero if Rozier is out. Um, Hero if Rozier is out. Let's see. I mean, Goodwin, available to play. Brunson in. Goodwin. We could. Uh, I just I didn't know where else to like to. We would can like. We could go down, if you went if you went down to Goodwin, you could go up from like Green. Do you? I like Green. I know, me too. Well, green is always good. Especially I like if, I like green more than Butler, probably. Jared Butler, dude, that you're sleeping on Jared Butler fantasy point per minute this year. Okay. You're sleeping on Jared Butler fantasy point. Well, we got eighteen hundred dollars. 
Did we just play Jokic just to get the money? <laughs> it was a potato chip, by the way. Abraham. Has, okay, I tried. Yes, tuned in. It was a good thought. It was a good thought. Uh, salute to you, Jerome. We appreciate uh, you tuning in for the breakdown every day. Uh, for all those that haven't or didn't hear John at the beginning of the show, this is our last live stream of the of the season. But we will be continuing our pre-show that we record every night, Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday through Friday, uh, through the first round of the playoffs. So uh, you'll catch us back here on the ones and ones and twos um, next week with the uh, first round of the playoffs. I really don't know where I'd go, Coach Chris. You are late, but that's fine. You can go watch us on replay. Welcome, Chris. Deal. Welcome. Happy to have you in the chat with us here today. Um, um I got eighteen hundred bucks left over, man. I don't. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do. 3900 from Baldwin. It just puts us in like a terrible range. Um, I LaRavia would probably be like the only other name I'd say we get to. Like, Maybe. I like, would you play him over Baldwin? Like, I, guess I, mean, the Lakers? I, I feel like Baldwin against the, the Bulls is a better spot. So, this is one of the two blow ups oh, at LaRavia. Like, Clown, yeah, Clowny 42. For sure. LaRavia did just come off like the game that he came off. And he torched the Lakers last week. Not that that matters. Sure. But the Lakers are have been pretty bad defensively. Love to see that, Jerome. Happy with us at the NFL. Myself and uh, Howard Bender do our NFL DFS live stream. And then uh, on the weekends, myself and Andrew Cooper do your start sits. So. Happy to have you with us through the NFL season. More of a reason to like and subscribe to the Fantasy Time YouTube channel. You never miss a live show when we uh, when we go live here on the channel. We do an MLB DFS show every day as well at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So you can be on the lookout for that one. That may be moving to five um, you know, with us here. Uh, we will be doing um we'll be doing a pre-show. We won't be doing live, but we will do the um we will be doing the preview show for the NBA through the first round of the playoffs. Um, all right, we got 5,700. We got almost had to like just make a decision here. I, I still like Patrick Baldwin okay. more. Um, we can leave money on the table. It's just this is a lot of money to leave on the table. It's a lot of money. Can you move off Goodwin then and just like 7,700? We could play, we could play Miller. Okay, that's fine. I like that. And like you said, if Rozier gets out, I'd probably just pivot to Hero. Um, at that point against Toronto. Uh, example lineup for all you folks here, Peyton Pritchard, Brandon Miller, Javante Green. We do like Sam Hauser, Coach Chris. Uh, Patrick Baldwin, Sonogo, Butler, Davis, and Embiid. Your double spend, there's going to be – there's so much value. There's just so much value on this slate. You got to figure out the way to navigate all of it. Um, if he, if Luka Doncic gets ruled in, you know, maybe you, maybe you pivot off of one of the guards and play Luka over AD and, and, and go that route, go AD and B tonight. So – uh, again, guys, we appreciate you all this season for the live show. Uh, make sure you hit that like button for your way to support what we do here on the Fantasy Alarm YouTube channel. And if you subscribe, you'll get notified when our preview show goes live on site. We record that generally the night before uh, the slate, so you get a full time, full day's worth uh, to watch and prepare for that evening show. Uh, if you want to get us during the Ross Lock Hour, now you got to get in our Discord. You go to fantasylarm.com slash win to sign up, become an all-pro Remember there right now, our annual subscription package, go for a year. It's 40% off the month-to-month -month price there, but you go to fantasylarm.com slash win to sign up. You can sync and get into our premium Discord channel. We'll be there to help you guys out uh, throughout the NBA playoffs that your betting and DFS lineup needs. James, final words here for the live stream. Uh, appreciate everyone for tuning in. The support has been amazing from the start of the regular season until now, uh, and I look forward to seeing – a lot of you watch future shows that we have and tune in to future shows. Don't be shy to leave comments on our pre-show. We will respond in the YouTube comments. If you have any questions, you can see our Twitter handles right here on screen. If you, if you want to hit us up uh, either just through a tweet or through a DM, we're happy to answer any questions you have, whether it be lineup construction questions or subscription questions. If right. you guys want to become members of the family, uh, but we appreciate everyone for tuning in. Uh, it's been a grind. You guys have been amazing with us. So uh, salute to everyone that stays, uh, has stayed in the chat all year and supported us and, and while we done our did our thing. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just continue to rock through the playoffs. And nothing better than playoff basketball, John. There's nothing better. Nothing better than that is all. And uh, next season will be here before you know it. All right, everybody. Good luck with your lineups tonight. 
Good luck with your future lineups. Then check out the MLB DFS show if you want to keep hanging with us here again. It's always a good time to be part of the family. We'll catch you all later.